If you want to learn how to finger spell, this customizable spreadsheet can help you. So grab some ice cream, wrap up your shopping, and let's figure out how this workbook works. Thanks for watching. As always, you can download this workbook with all the source code from the link in the description. This workbook's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you just click next word, it'll start finger spelling the next word on the list. And it's randomized. If you want to see the word again, you hit the replay button to see the word again. And if you want to adjust the speed of the finger spelling, then at the bottom there, there's a list and there's a bunch of different uh, options for that. And after picking a faster speed here, you can see when we replay the word that it is faster now. If you want to see the word, you just hit show and it'll show the word there. On the setup sheet, you can see the list of words in column A, and that's where you type new ones into. You can see the blue type that's helping guide you on where to put it, and then that means all the words above that are already in the list. You can select them and hit delete, and that'll just remove them. You type more names or classmate names if you're a student learning fingerspelling, uh, or you can put in any words you'd like to just practice with fingerspelling. The speed settings are just hidden on the setup page. So if you unhide the columns between J and M there, uh, you'll see the list and be able to adjust some of those settings. If you go to the selection pane, you can see all the images that make up the different letters and avatars. And you can hide it and hide them there by clicking the little eye icon. By default, they're all hidden. And then in the code, it loops through the word and kind of shows each one with a delay. And that's the, the speed setting. If we look at the code, there's enough comments in the code uh, for you to figure out what's happening. If you know a little bit of VBA, you could certainly optimize some of this code because right now I'm just doing a for loop with the delay. Uh, but you could have a sleep timer there to have a little be have it be a little more accurate and whatnot. And since it's mostly just hiding and showing shapes, it's a pretty small piece of code. Let me know if there's any customizations or ideas you have to make it better. Thanks.